Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling lucky because today our quote of the day is being deeply learned and skilled, being well trained and using well spoken words. This is good luck by Buddha. Do you believe in luck and chance or do you believe that life is in your own hands? This is a very important factor that will determine how you, how well you will live your life and what you will do with it. I personally believe that luck is just like our DNA. We get our DNA, our genes from our parents and it is set. It cannot be changed. This may be how you view luck as one person may be luckier than the other. However, there is a relatively new science known as epigenetics that shows us that our genes can be influenced, not changed, but influenced through lifestyle habits. I talk about this in my book, The Gorilla Diet and Lifestyle Program. We can influence which genes, which of our genes will be expressed and which will not through our lifestyle choices. I believe that the same goes for luck. We can influence our luck through the choices we make. There is no doubt that there are some people who were born with more of an advantage than other people, but what they did with this advantage is up to them and their own choices. Your family and environment can only take you so far or hinder you so much. The rest is up to you. The greatest people that have made the highest achievements and have really reached great heights in their careers and life did believe in some form of luck. However, they understood that this was not enough. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, said that for Amazon to have become a success, all the stars had to be lined up perfectly. And Bill Gates said that he was fortunate enough to be born to his family and to have good genes that he was given. But the rest of their good fortune was up to them. It was not only in their stars, it was in their good choices and good decisions. These highly successful people understood that their life is not like a lottery ticket and that they must do what it takes to succeed. Bill Gates certainly is not the smartest man alive. He is definitely intelligent, but not the most intelligent person. There are many other people who have come from similar backgrounds and have similar intelligence levels, but did they get as far as he did? No, because they did not do what he was willing to do. Even if they both had, or if they all had the same opportunities available for them. While he and other great achievers may have had some advantage, this is no doubt, they had to do the work to get to where they are today. In fact, it is people that have had less of an ideal upbringing that have built big brands or companies that have become so large and powerful because, because perhaps of the lessons that these people learned early on in life. They most often learned independence, that it's up to me and no one else will save me but myself, and that I have the power to choose for myself and not follow the crowd. And they have learned these lessons very early on. Eliao Goldrat said that good luck is when opportunity meets preparation, while bad luck is when lack of preparation meets reality. When you are ill-prepared, you will suffer the consequences of reality. Today I'm talking about luck because although misfortune does exist, no doubt about that, you can make your own luck through intense effort on a focused goal that you believe has potential to help you and many others lead happier lives. We can all transform misfortune into good fortune by determination, skill, and ability to overcome the misfortune. Even if you examine outward circumstances and come to the conclusion that they were indeed bad luck, then you can still choose to believe that you have had some form of good luck in this bad luck because it could have been worse. Or you can choose to view this misfortune as a preparation for you to become something greater. This is personally how I choose to believe that all misfortune is a preparation to make me a better individual to be able to cope with bigger things. If you understand that your future is not a matter of chance, but that it can be shaped through your own choices, then you know that your efforts are not wasted. It is all about your attitude. Whether you believe in your power or not, 
or you believe that the stars or some other random fate holds the key to your future for you, it is all about the attitude that will determine your actions. Now, apparently, there are four attitudes of people. There, there is uh, an optimistic attitude that believes in chance and an optimistic attitude that believes in creation. And there is a pessimistic attitude that believes in chance and a pessimistic attitude that believes in creation. So let's look at each of these. The first one is a pessimistic attitude from a person who believes in the, hu in the human ability to create. They believe in building uh, a future from copying what successful people have done in order to save themselves or spare themselves from anything bad happening to them in the future. The next is uh, the next attitude is a pessimistic attitude from a person who believes in chance. Will be like a self-fulfilling prophecy and create a negative outcome of life for that person as they expect the worst to happen and do not take any action or take the wrong actions to ensure that the worst does happen. <clears throat> now, in, the next attitude is an optimistic attitude from a person who believes in chance, whereby the future is random and will not uh, produce much value. Though they are optimistic, these people will tend not to add much value to the world. They are naive in their optimism, and they do not plan for progress. Progress cannot be ensured without planning. These types of people will find themselves adapting to their environment and solving problems of an ever-changing environment. And in business, they will be listening to their customers and what they want, but they will not give them new innovative things. They will improve on what is already available. They are optimistic, but they do not create anything new. They go with what is and perhaps improve on it. Now, the next attitude is an optimistic attitude from a person who believes in the human ability to create. This type of person builds the future that they envision. In their business, they tell customers what their customers need before the customers even know that they need it. They have a definite long-term plan and execute this plan slowly but surely. These types of people create the future. If you are a pessimist who believes that the world is drifting to some unknown future, but a future that is worse than it currently is now, then you will have, of course, no motivation to do anything to change the situation. You will be more inclined to go for cover and do the things that go unnoticed so uh, as not to make any ripples that will get you noticed. You will more likely just live your life and hope for the best, but expect the worst. You will eat and have fun maybe with friends, but you will uh, uh, be expecting the worst to happen. On the other hand, if you are an optimist who believes in creation and in the opportunity that people have to make a dent in the world, then you believe that through the law of cause and effect, you are responsible for the results in your life and that the circumstances in your life are, um, are not responsible for the results in your life. Only a person who is both optimistic and believes in the human ability to create can really uh, make a, a difference in this world, a long-lasting difference in this world. A person less inclined to understand the law of cause and effect and rather attributes things to chance is more likely to copy what already worked in the past so that they may work also for them in the future. They may try to improve on things, but they will uh, not use their imagination much to envision the world as it can be and create this reality. The law of cause and effect, as I covered in a previous video, states that, the, that everything happens uh, starts first of all with something most often a thought that is created by nature. This leads the way to making plans long-term plans for, for a better future following this creative thought. This is a state of mind that understands that the best future is one that is created and not one that is just allowed to happen as the wind flows. Now, you may be pessimistic and believe in your ability to shape the future, on the other hand, but you will not really want or tend to do this since you believe that things will generally go bad. And when you don't put in the effort to make things better because of a, the pessimistic outlook, then your pessimistic visions will tend to be self-fulfilling prophecies. Or you may be an optimist who believes in chance and not in cause and effect. Uh, you believe that you don't have much influence on things, although you do believe that things will get better in general. 
you will tend to go to, for jobs that are less innovative because you do not know exactly how the world can improve, just that the overall world will improve for the better. You don't think that you can design the future, but only perhaps rearrange it and improve on it slightly. You like to keep your options open because you do not know what the future will hold for you. You tend to go less after focused attention on one thing and have a general focus on many things. Now this way of living is how most people live nowadays. Most people are optimistic by nature, but do not believe that they hold the reins uh, to do what is necessary to make real change in the world to happen. Although you do feel entitled for good and believe that good things should be, should be yours and will be yours, uh, you expect them to come to you on a platter rather than go out and get them or create them. But if you really want big change, uh, to make big change and to leave a big legacy, for many generations to come, then you must take the optimistic approach and believe in your ability to create your future. This is the best state of mind for success. Basically, it means that the future will be better because you have made it better through your effort and the effort of other people doing good things uh, to make this world a better place. Of course, luck is helpful but it is nothing more than helpful. A creative life cannot be based on luck. A pessimistic born in harsh conditions may play on their situation and leave no place for great improvement because they believe that since those were the cards that they were dealt, they cannot change their situation. An optimist will see that things will get better in the future and they see that they deserve good things for them but an optimist who doesn't believe in their creative power to form their destiny and design their future, but that they must live with the hand that they were dealt and perhaps just improve on it, will live a life that lacks creativity and uh, most often also purpose. And they will be much less happy than someone who believes in their ability to shape their future to make them happy because of, of this lack of a feeling of control over their destiny. There is nothing more important than a plan to determine your future. A plan, even a bad plan, is better than no plan. And allowing the stars to affect your future um, destiny is not a good way to form the future that you desire. When you have a plan in place, you know where you should go and what you should do to influence your future for the better. Jim Rohn said that if you don't design your own life plan, then chances are you'll fall into someone else's life plan and get to what they have a plan for you. Not very much. Jim Rohn also said that if you don't like how things are, then change them. You're not a tree. People with no plan will try to make the best of what is now available to them. There is no vision of the future, neither a positive vision nor a negative one. So there is only perhaps renovation of what is, but there is certainly no new creation. A commitment to one path that you believe in and enjoy and are willing to put in the effort and to implement a plan is what will take you the furthest. This, when backed with an optimistic nature that, and a belief in the law of cause and effect, then you will ensure that you reach your dreams. You are not in the audience. You are a player on the field in this life. And when you, your play is planned for your success and you improve on your skills daily and put in the effort to succeed, nothing can stop you. Yes, there may be luck, but it will only get you to the first step. It will not lead you to the life of your dreams if you just sit on the sidelines. When you believe that you design your future and are optimistic by nature, the gold is yours for the taking. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the uh, answer will help move your life to a better place. Now, today, this I have a few questions for you and not just one. So the questions of the day are, do I believe in my abilities to change the future? Do I ability, believe in my abilities to create the future? Do I believe that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction? Do I believe in my abilities overall? Am I optimistic? See what you answered for each of these questions. And if you answered yes, then you are headed down the right track for the future of your dreams. But if you answered no to any of these questions, then I recommend reading books that will help you form a more optimistic view of life and um, will help you understand that uh, the law of cause and effect and how your actions will influence the outcome.
of your life. Because every action does have an equal and opposite reaction, whether you believe it or not. So it's best to change your thought patterns in a way that you that will help you learn to take responsibility for your choices because your choices form your destiny. Life is not about chance and luck, but about planning and creating. So as usual, I recommend writing this question and your answers to these questions in a notebook, especially prepare for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you're moving your life to the best place for you. Now, the affirmation of the day is I am the creator of my life and I can make my dreams come true and make this world a better place through consistent effort, hard work, and patience. I am the creator of my life and I can make my dreams come true and make this world a better place through consistent effort, hard work, and patience. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with a repetition, an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorillediet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining me.